Well, I was going to get some drone shots of the car coming to Walmart, but on the way here, it started raining. But what's up, guys? Welcome back to a new video. Not gonna let the rain slow me down. I was at the apartment this morning. I had like no food. So I'm coming to Walmart. We're gonna make breakfast this morning in this video. It's gonna be a really good recipe. I better get inside though before it starts raining. Even harder than it already is. Because this camera was expensive. And I don't think it's waterproof. Cancel items. Thank you for shopping at... Quick trip to Walmart completed. Got all the stuff for breakfast. We're good. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna show you how to do today, what, what I'm making for breakfast, you can make this if you want at home. You don't have to, but you might hate yourself if you don't. We're gonna make some egg white, spinach, bacon, and cheese muffins. First thing you have to do, cook some spinach on the stove. At this point, preheat the oven. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, what you're gonna do, see this? Two cups of egg whites, and then I'm gonna add some cheese, and you might notice like, hey Michael, this is a lot more laid back than your normal recipe videos, because normally when I cook, guys, this is how I cook. Like Chris Jones says, I cook from the soul, so I don't add like a specific amount of stuff, and usually that's how recipes are. You can change stuff up a whole lot. So added in some fat-free cheese and then some chopped onion. This is fully cooked bacon. Three strips of it, rip it up, add it into the bowl. And then seasonings, salt, and then some garlic, all right? And then we're just gonna dump this out into the muffin tray thing here, right? Cool. So I've got these dumped out. It's time for this to go into the oven. Oh crap, whoops, that's on the floor. All right, awesome. Okay, those should be done in like 25 minutes. They look good. We'll see how they turn out. So this is breakfast. I have eight of these muffins. I'm gonna actually eat all of them. This is what they look like, really, really good, portable. Now you might be like, that's a whole lot of food, Michael. Per muffin, I've got them pulled up here on my fitness pal. We've got 0.5 grams of carbs, 0.9 grams of fat, 10 grams of protein, and then right here I have three servings of this Kodiak cake stuff. I got it at Target, Flapjack and Waffle Mix. I guess it's got a little extra protein, but all in all, good amount of carbs and protein right here, delicious. Don't forget the sugar-free syrup. If I were cutting right now, I would make these muffins every day. All eight of them, 460 calories, 80 grams of protein. Wow. Have you been good today? Huh? Oh. Who needs Ava when you got a pug that looks kind of similar, but is just a pug, not a French bulldog? Right, Milo? Yeah. <laughs> Just got to the gym, wanted to give you guys a little update on how the gym's going. 70 members right now, pushing 70, in the money, making money every month. Members are coming in quicker than I can keep up with, quicker than I can memorize everyone's name, which is a good problem to have. But the bad thing is, I don't have that much space. So once I hit about 120 members, I'll be making enough money to justify this expensive, about $10,000 renovation. Because if I knock down this, I'll have to rebuild it when the lease is up. So in order to make more room on the gym floor, we're gonna put a wall right here, okay? Imagine there's a wall right here, and then there's a wall going all the way down to right here. Does that make sense? So by adding this wall, I'm gonna move the double doors. Those double doors right there are gonna go right here. So right when you walk into the door, the double doors that are right there will be opening this way, and it will add 300 of square feet, 300 square foot 
to the gym, I'll be able to add more equipment, accommodate more members, and then raise my membership cap from like maybe 120 to 150. More stuff, happier members, good. Going for a single today, 295. Let's go. One, two, three. Easy. 295 moved like butter, like a knife going through butter. I'm gonna try 305 now. This would be a PR. Let's see. Gonna be a PR. It's gonna be it's a gonna PR. It's gonna be a PR. Ha! Come on, come on. There you go. So 305 was a grinder, but let's just take that as progress is what it is. And my bench has been going up. So what I wanted to do right now is kind of show you guys, give you some tips of what I'm doing. And I think the biggest thing is kind of just establishing a routine. So every time I, I bench, the biggest thing though is, so I'll come back, I'll, I'll grab this. I put my ring finger on the mark right here. It's like this. See if you want to give me a lift off. Yeah. But, the biggest thing that's helped me is breathing. So when I breathe, I breathe like into my stomach on the way out, breathe out like a, a piston. And that's made a world of difference. So we're gonna do 250 here for a five by five. Let's go. One, two, three. The next exercise we are doing, so we did uh, finish up the five by five on bench, doing the incline hammer press. This is one of the newest pieces here at the gym. Love it. That's the flat one. This is the incline one. Way better, so I'll probably do like three sets of 10 here. Next exercise that we're gonna do guys, three sets of 15 on the cable fly. Now I wanted to show you guys this real quick. So a lot of the times when people do cable flies, here, come around to the front. They do something like this, right? To where you don't get a full range of motion. Now the key with the cable fly is to bring your elbows together, like that. Now there's one thing that I've been doing lately that's making a huge difference, and that is doing single arm. So check us out. You do a single arm, you keep your elbows straight, and you can actually get a greater range of motion. And then with the offhand, I'll like, kind of touch the part of the chest that I want to think about contracting. So something like this, all the way across my body, feel it right here, and then just repeat it. So three sets of 15 for each arm. It's killer. I'm gonna quickly talk about this. So as of today, I am no longer with my protein. I'm gonna try to keep this professional as always. So uh, first of all, is it windy here? Go behind the wall. Yeah. Is it windy here? Probably not. All right. First of all, I'd like to thank my protein for the last three years of being sponsored with them. And uh, also I'd like to thank everyone that has ever used my discount code. Um, I am a little disappointed. I don't really wanna get into too much. Like I said, I wanna to try to be professional and um, I would just like to thank them. And I will still stand by everything that I ever said uh, about the company. I love their products. I would continue to use them. But um, you know, something that you have to remember is like anytime you enter a, a business partnership or, or whatnot, is there's gonna eventually be an end. Uh, nothing lasts forever. So even this YouTube channel, like there will eventually be an end to making videos everyone has an end uh, to something and you just kind of have to look forward and and move ahead uh, so like moral of the story everything's got to end guys 
I'm no longer with my protein. Now what's next for me? Am I gonna jump to another company right away? No, because I don't wanna be that guy uh, that just jumps from company to company. Like I'm a really loyal person. I'm loyal to every brand. I am loyal to Ape. This is the only clothing company I will ever probably be sponsored by just because I like companies that I work with, I really like and enjoy. So yeah, it sucks not being with the, the company anymore. And like I said, I, I like to be professional and um, just kind of like bite my tongue on some stuff, I guess. So thank you to my protein for sponsoring me the last couple of years. And uh, thank you to everyone that used my discount code. But like I said, that's the end of it. On to bigger and better things. Nothing bad to say about them. It's just like if I'm not sponsored by them anymore, there's no point of having it up in, uh, in the gym. So that's it, guys. Thank you, my protein, for the last three years. Also forgot to mention, the last couple of years on YouTube, I feel like I've kind of been working for other people in the sense that like I've been pushing other people's products all the time. And I'm gonna start to switch it up for sure. This year, like within the next year, I'm really gonna start to make my own money. And what do you mean by that? Well, like the gym is a great example. Uh, the cookbook is, it's like my product. So instead of making like a percentage of sales where you get the small percent, I'm gonna try to reverse it, be my own boss again, and, and not really have to worry about like posting all of this. So just post what I want, film what I want, do what I want, and not have to worry like, oh my gosh, I gotta mention X, Y, and Z, and this and this, it's just, it's kind of exhausting to always have to be able to uh, to do that. And I know it goes along with like working with other companies, but um, if I'm gonna promote something, I'd rather promote my own product, if that makes sense. So the cookbook is coming soon. It's gonna be amazing, the best. The best. The best. Nothing but the best. What was that? It? Nothing but the best. I'm about to watch Breaking Bad for the sixth time all the way through. I'm actually working through it right now. Season two, episode one. Such a good show. I've got my almonds right here. My snack food while I watch this. Do I have almonds in my teeth? Probably right now, actually. Uh, but that's going to be it for the video, guys. Thank you for the support, as always. I do appreciate you. And, um, yeah, it, I mean, things are going well, really well at the gym. It's great. It's crazy. It's taken off. Wow. We're doing it. Ah, oh, man. But that's going to be it, guys. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It's Breaking Bad time. I'm Breaking Bad. That's it. Peace out.